From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, May 7th, 2013. Leading our update this time, mediated talks between the Fairbanks Education Association, the local teachers union and the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District ended last evening with the two sides unable to reach an agreement on teacher contracts. The two sides will resume talks again Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. in the FNSBSD chambers. That's according to an FEA news release issued Monday evening. The FEA is seeking to negotiate a three-year contract with the school district. News Center 11 will have more on this tonight on the Fairbanks Evening News. Beginning this week, local firefighters will begin their yearly prescribed burns at several locations around the interior. The purpose is to reduce the fire risk in Fairbanks and around the interior and also to gear up for the fire season in Alaska. The burns are set to occur in North Pole near Rep and Hollowell Road, the Salcher River drainage, the McLeod subdivision, Himalaya Road and the South Fork of the Chena River near Mile 13 on Chena Hot Springs Road. And during this spring, if that's what you want to call it, the temperatures have reached record lows and the snow has been sticking around longer than usual. Deadlines have been extended, including the studded tires moved to May 15th, and now yet another date has been moved back. The salmon bake inside of Pioneer Park has to delay opening for a week. Normally, the salmon bake opens its doors to Fairbanks and some tourists around May 12th, but due to unseasonably cool temperatures, that date has now been pushed out to May 18th. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Speaking of that, today it's mostly sunny with highs in the 40s. Tonight mostly clear with lows in the teens to lower 20s. Tomorrow mostly sunny, highs in the mid 40s to maybe the mid 50s. And the extended outlook is continued mostly clear through the week. Could reach the 60s by Thursday. And the allergy forecast is low for grass, trees, weeds, and mold. That's all we have for right now. Thanks for joining us. On behalf of your News Center 11 team, I'm J.R. Lewis wishing you a very good day. Thanks so much for watching.